Hello everyone, welcome to another video on Obsidian. In this video, I'll show you how you can create a Notion-like database table in your Obsidian board. It is something that I have created for demonstration purpose and as you can see, this table looks absolutely similar to what we have in Notion. This is the database that I have created for books that I have in my Obsidian board and I have given some ratings here, number of pages, a date started reading, date finished it and if they are done or not and this is for just for demonstration purpose. In this video, we are gonna explore how to create something uh, just like this in your Obsidian board. So let's begin our tutorial without any delay. To create notion like dashboards in your Obsidian board, you will need to install a community plugin uh, that has been recently added to uh, the community plugin sections and it is called database folder you can search here also it is called database folder install it and once you have enabled it click on options and you can see these different options so you can change these as you like but i want to keep them default here the second thing you need to download is the data view plugin because it uses the same search engine that is used by the data view plugin so we'll need uh, to install data view plugin as well if you have not already installed because I am always recommending data view plugin because it is one of the most powerful plugin in the obsidian community right now and after you install and enable data view plugin enable these three options that are javascript queries inline javascript queries and inline field highlighting once we have installed these two plugins then we need to uh, select a folder from which uh, we want our files to be sourced let's say uh, I want to source files from reference here so I will right click on this reference folder or whatever uh, your folder is I'll click on right click on reference folder and click on new database table and this will create a database and it will source all the nodes that are in this folder now let's head into the settings of this database click on more options over here and click on open database setting and you will see these different options the first one is select the source of database data and here we have current folder this means that all the database files will be sourced from this folder that is a reference in my case and there are, these are different options and here is tag if i select tag then it will ask me to select a tag and it will list all the tags that i have in my obsidian board and these are other options as well outgoing link and ingoing link uh, you can search for these different links if you are using link to uh, organize files in your obsidian let's say i want to select the source of database as tag and uh, i will use book tag there's a book tag and these are different information about the database let's say it's a reading list and information about your database a reading list i'll just write this for example and here is another option that add, lets you add filters once you have created this database then you can use different filters such as you can use the name of the field uh, which equals to contains does not contains and the value just like uh, you get this option in notion you get it in obsidian now with the help of this plugin and these are different options that you can check out i will uh, just leave them as they are right now so if i click on x here let's close this one here i have a list of all the books that i have in my uh, obsidian board and i can drag this column anywhere i want and i can add a new column from here i can just click on plus and a new columns will be added here you can click on this header column and uh, rename this let's say it's pages and click on this property type and you can select these different properties currently only these six type of pro uh, properties are available but uh, the author of this plugin is trying to add a formula type as well as multi select for now we just have these five or six options so let's say it's a page and num and let's select number here and you can add these columns as many you want or as many you need as many as you need let's say add a date here and you can pick a date just like this so you can use this new feature of obsidian database folder plugin so that's it 
for this video uh, i hope you found this video helpful and if you found this video helpful don't forget to subscribe to the channel and uh, do subscribe to the newsletter which we which will be linked in the description because i will be adding more content that i will not be able to make in videos through that newsletter so yeah thank you have a great time